So this week we'll be moving into the uh, chapters 5, 6, 7, and 8. Uh, we're actually doing a little bit more this week. Uh, loops, methods, and arrays. Uh, well, that first idea, loops. We can think about it in the sense that so far we've looked at, at the very most, a conditional statement, which in its very basic form looks sort of like this. I have a fork in the road, a true or a false, and depending on my conditional statement, how it gets evaluated out, I do either the true or the false, and I move on. Well, with a loop, things are a little different. What actually happens is when I get to the conditional statement, I evaluate it. If it's true, I execute this line of code, and I go back to the conditional statement again. And I continue to do this over and over and over again until I move forward. So this is sort of my true and this is sort of my false. So we can think about it like this. What if I was a very conceited uh, instructor and I told you guys to print out uh, Mr. Guida is awesome 100 times? Again, you'd probably think I was conceited, a little uh, grandiose and whatnot, and probably just be like, whatever. You'd copy and paste it over and over again. But I'm a lazy programmer. You know, I, I say it so many times that it's kind of mantra now. But having to repeat this line of code over and over again, there are better ways to do uh, that. You know, one of those ways is through uh, one of our conditional statements, which is something like our while loop. So, a little humor for us, we can take that, we can actually make it do the work for us, so long as we don't have a teacher telling us we can't do it, right? But let's actually think back about the if statement for just a second. Now the if statement, if we take a look at it, it had sort of this structure. It had first that keyword if and a conditional statement. When I was running, when I run through my code, when I get to this, it looks at that, it sees that there's an if, it goes to the conditional statement and it evaluates it. It says, is this true or false? And if it is true, it does whatever is in between these two brackets. Now, if it was false, of course, you know, it depends on if we have an else or not, but this basic structure, that actually comes into play when we look at our while loop. You can see the same kind of concept going on here that I have first my keyword, my while instead of if, and then I have my conditional. And say I'm even using this code, I've done an if statement, I've got a few things that go on, and then I hit this while statement. Well, what happens is the while looks at the conditional evaluates whether or not it is true or false. If it is true, it's going to do what's ever in between these brackets. Now the difference between an if statement and a while is an if just kept on moving forward. The while loop is actually going to come back up to the top and it's going to reassess the conditional statement a second time. And again, if it's true, cool, we're actually going to repeat this line of code again. If it's false, then we move on. But we'll continue to, every time we are true, we will continue moving forward over and over again. So we can think about that same print statement, uh, Mr. Guida is awesome. One of the ways we can do that is we can create uh, something known as a sentinel value. Sentinel value, it's just saying that this controls the loop, controls the loop. Then you can see that I have here my conditional statement as long as i is less than 100. You know, i started out as 0, so i less than 100, 0 less than 100, that's true. System.out.print, Mr. Guido is awesome. Now, because of how a conditional operates, I have to change the conditional statement. If I do not change the conditional statement, I run into what's known as an infinite loop. Now I have to be careful with those. Infinite loops mean the rest of my program cannot run. So I have to explicitly come in and 
state there we are state that I make a change uh, to my sentinel value if I do not I get the infinite loop however if I do I have the opportunity to stop the loop 